Why is there no sound? Oh yeah, I forgot the game just sometimes doesn't do that. There it is. Takes a little bit. Made me think, made me think something was wrong. Okay, uh... You know what, before we start, well, let me make sure my phone's going. Uh, my, my monitor is currently, uh, monitors, volumes down, that's a good thing. Let's go through the achievements I did get, because I forgot to go through that last time. So let me see. Let's just find the new ones I got in the last couple, uh, streams. Let's see, uh, I, th we got, like, a few chapter progression ones. I think these are the new ones that I got right here. 10 and 11. Unless I got... Unless I didn't show, like, these ones. Uh, let's see. I've shown some of these. We got Bantu, Maria, Minerva, George, Lind, Paula, Katria, and Astrum. Uh, let's see. Uh, we got the silver card in Chapter 10. Because, and we had to beat the thief to the chest to get it. Obtained Par uh, Parthia, the bow, which seems like a story progression, and win a fight in an arena. I don't know if I showed those on stream, but we've definitely got those. All right. All right, let's go ahead and continue on with Fire Emblem. Chapter 12. Which, in all reality, we'd be on Chapter 15. Caden, the land of magic. It is ruled by the dark Pontifex God, and is a sanctuary for mages. As soon as the mages began chanting, no warrior can defend themselves. One and another. Brave warriors come and fall, one by one. Caden, a cursed town of darkness. Oh, well, I thought there was going to be more to that. Never mind. Okay. Any unique units, I think? If I remember correct, Garnet is here. Yeah, see, there he is. And he has the Falchion, and he can't even use it. He just has it, just to be an ass. Um... If I remember correctly, if you try to get close to him, he'll just teleport away. So it's not a bad idea to warp, like, Marth over here or something. Just warp someone over here. So that way he leaves. Like, that's not a bad idea. Assuming I'm remembering it correctly. There's a lot of mages here. Uh, I have a feeling that Castor is going to get a lot of use to attack from range. Castor, Navarre, Lena, Julian, Minerva, Lind, Merrick, Cheetah. I have two more units. Mm, I could take one of these two. Nah, nah, Astrum, Dolphin. I don't know who else I would take. Gordon, Gordon, Jagan. Oh, right, you have able steel lance. Uh, Bantu, you have a steel bow as a spare. Wendell. Fine, we'll take Wendell and Bantu for now. I don't see myself using Bantu. They're just kind of here. Uh, let me double check my items. Kane could use a Volinary. Abel has a broken iron lance. 
we could probably just get rid of it. If we could buy a new one for him, that'd be great. Agma's Iron Sword is about to run out. Honestly, we could probably just discard it. I want to trade for a second. There we go. I want the steel equipped at start. Uh, we could probably, you know what, hold on. Let's discard the broken bow. And I think what we'll do is we'll trade. Where's Gordon? We'll give Gordon's iron bow to Caster. Because at least with the Iron Bow, it gives him enough attack speed, and that's kind of why it's nice. It's still nice for him to have an Iron Bow. Navarre is fine. We're going to have him continue to try to use up his iron if needed. Okay. Lena's Men's Staff is about to break. Someone has... Let's have Bantu hold the men's staff for now. I didn't realize I had this many... Oh, Maria had one, duh. Okay. So, if uh, Lena uses up her men's staff, we could just use it up. Wendell, you're fine. Bantu, you're holding a steel bow. You're just kind of packed mule for now. Cheetah is currently okay. Lind has a Silver Lance that I think we could just put in storage. I think we are fine. Okay. <laughs> it seems those fools have come running here. They understand nothing. As long as I have my Imhudu spell, I am invincible. White Sage, even you will be unable to stop me. As long as the Dragon Goddess remains at the ancient fane of Ramon, no star's light can illuminate my dark. <laughs> you only do that voice for so long. So, I guess to test out my theory, I should consider warping Marth over. Or so if not Marth, then someone. Because I think someone just needs to get close. Give defensive two. So, we have a bunch of mages, we have a thief, Pegasus Riders. Okay. Uh, I have a feeling I see a death in the future, but... Well, you're at 12, you're at 12. Kane, you're at 11. Evil's at 14. Farce is at 12. Sheeta? Oh. How about we warp over... Someone over here. Okay, let's try warping. Uh, do we? You know what? Who has a good resistance? Zero, zero. Abel has one point in, re in resistance. Well, that's really nothing. Okay. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I don't think. Again, I think someone just needs to get close. And it would be like, ah, 
I'm not getting attacked in the news. Or if that's not the case, he leaves after a turn or two. I forget how it works. Skill, luck, and weapon. I'll go ahead and let Ogma just attack. I wonder if I went with the silver, uh, the silver sword, if I would have just got the one hit KO. That might have been better. And Ogma's here. He can stop the thief. Can and yeah, okay, they can get close. Abel, wait, can Marth do? Marth, can you do something? Uh, steel, 14. Okay, wait a minute. Iron, 11. You have enough attack speed to... Yes! Marth, get some EXP! And with that crit, that works out. let Kane have this one. 18. Ha! <laughs> one hit KO. Perfect. Over 12. Speed, luck, and weapon level. Alright. Uh... One other option I could have gone with is to just work here and get rid of the thief right now. That being said, I would have been attacked by the ma both mages and the Pegasus Flyer. So that probably wouldn't have been a good idea anyway. Unless I decide to go with something like set warp caster like right here so a mage can uh, be taken out. But then there's this one here. I don't know. I don't know what the right answer would have been. All I know is the Cavs are going to have trouble. Uh, I think they're going to have trouble in the desert. Yeah, I think Castor is going to be the, the main one to deal with that. You know what? Fontu's not going to be used. So, I'm not going to worry about it. You're just kind of here. Uh, I think we can maybe have Sheeta and Minerva start heading up here to lure out the mages. If there are reinforcements, I don't really remember where they pop up from. I think they're from the forts, but there isn't really that big of a cluster. Okay, Garnif moved. Those that dare to wield weapons against me will die. I'll show you the horrors of my sealing magic Im Imhulu. Dead. something to get Garneth out of there. 
and I forget if it's just wait a few turns, or maybe Marth needs to get close. Again, I forget specifically what I needed to do. Probably going to be doing a few resets. Probably going to be doing a few resets to figure out what the right first move is. Because I could just get rid of the thief. So, I see a couple options. We could try Ogma again, but set him in here. Because if he's in there, then Garneth decides to leave. Or we can warp Marth close, move him, warp Marth here. And then Garneth leaves. Or we warp Ogma up here. Have him deal with one of these mages. Get attacked by the other one. Hmm. Well, what if I... What if I sent in, like... Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. What if I worked in, like, Lind instead? Or Merrick? right here would actually be kind of useful. However, if I worked wind, wind here, they have three res. Whoever I would warp if I attack the thief, they get attacked by the Pegasus. Uh, so they have three res. With Aura, Lind has an attack of 21. She can one-hit KO these mages. Attack 6, attack 7. Two and three damage. Lind would actually do okay against these two mages. And I could just warp her here, have her deal with the mages, deal with the thief, later. But then I'm worried about this Pegasus Flyer heading towards Lind. So what if I went with Merrick? Uh, where is he? There he is. Thunder is attack of 7. I know Excalibur is an attack of 13 with no attack speed. So Merrick has an attack of 7, but can double. Not enough to KO. So, I could warp Lind here, deal with mages, and then deal with the thief, and that way the biggest threat is gone, and then I have to rush over. Actually, I could just have Lind here, actually. Try, but that's also in range of Garneth. I could set her here. Or here. You know what? That's not a bad idea. Keep her out of range of Garneth. Keeps her out of range of Garnif just in case. Uh, she can take out the mages and take very little damage from them. And she's close enough to the thief. Strength and weapon. Okay. Uh, okay. 
So if I were to attack the thief, I can one-hit KO with Aura. That's a good sign. You are not meant to fight Garnet right now. And luckily, I am out of range of Garnet. He's out of range of me. And so, like, Lind is just gonna stay here. Okay. I think this is the best route. Marth for the crit. Again, Lind is gonna take a few and take a little bit of damage, but that's okay. Again, my pro the thing is, I just don't remember how we get Garnef to leave. That is my issue. Skill, luck, weapon level. Okay. Everyone else starts heading up. Anima. Abel. It might not... It still probably is a good idea to do this. I could bench Wendell and or Bantu and bring in Katria and Pala, and maybe they can help out over here instead. It's not the worst idea. Yeah, I'm gonna need Castor and Merrick. For sure. And Julian can kinda just get there whenever he wants, more or less. I just forget how Garnet leaves. He's moving forward. Interesting. That's a lot of damage. Alright. Now the other two mages... I wonder if Lin should have a bow on Mary. That probably would help. Let's see how this turn goes. This will be three damage. And there we go. Come on, Lind, you need Weapon level, and that's it. And she got another thunder. Speed and weapon level. And there's the Pegasus Rider. Heading towards Lind. This is going so well. This is why I send off money. Yeah, she could have used a Mary. Watch this go horribly wrong. So, she has no way to heal. I already know I can take out the thief. How does Garnet work? I have an attack of 21. There's no effectiveness. Uh... Uh, 21 minus 8. 13, I believe? Huh. In three hits, she could, she could do it. However, he has an attack... 22. Even with my resist, uh, 
I went, I would only survive a single hit. That's it. That is sad. Well, um... Watch as Lind doesn't make it past this next turn. attack this mage with the steel for 15 or 11. It's not enough to KO, but it's enough to weaken. And you have an enemy. This ain't bad. This is not bad. You have resistance of zero, however. If you go in with your attack of 19... Attack at 15. You only have an attack speed of 4. Wow. So you can't double. That's not a good sign. Alright. Attack speed of 8. Yeah. Sheeta can weaken. That's for sure. And she gets the crit. Sheeta for the crit! And it's good! Alright. Yeah. You're just a healer. We got a dragon. We got a Durgan on our way. Okay, let's see. Attack of seven. Attack of six. Not what I meant to do. If I have Minerva go in with Steel, attack of 19, we can one hit KO this mage. has to be marked. Uh, Castor heads to the right. Cain and Abel head north. I think everyone else heads to the right. So far, Sheeta and Minerva isn't that bad heading over there. Freaking healer with nine movement. Ridiculous. All right. Watch as uh, Lind does not survive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those that dare wield weapons against me will die. I can't speak through this text. Fight him eventually. Minerva should survive this. She has the HP. Yeah.
had a feeling that was going to be a problem. Should be good. Okay. Um, reset. Again, I forget how he works. You know what I'm going to try this time? Uh, I'm going to try warping Marth basically right to him. Because I know he'll disappear. I know he leaves. I just forget how he leaves. I might look it up. But... I want to try a few things before doing so. Let me try warping Mark specifically. We are going right here. Yep, he's the only one that can. He can. He can get. He can get me. But that's not the point. I want to see if he leaves. Okay, he's right here. If I were to attack, I am not gonna survive. Nor am I going to deal all that much. But that's not the point. That is not the point. That's all I'm going to do with chest. Secret book. Fine. chapter pulled up. I warped Marth over to Garnet because I forget how he leaves. Maybe we need to actually attack him. No, that make, that doesn't make sense because then the attack happens and... I know he leaves. I might actually look it up. I don't mind looking it up because I've played this game before and I know he will leave. I just forget the specifics. But I'm trying to remember. I'm, I'm just trying to remember what it is. It could just be in a certain amount of turns. That could just ultimately be it. Let's see what happens. And Garneth attacked Marth. Yeah, those that dare wield weapons. I have the command ready to go. And... There it is. Okay. I'm looking at it. I, for I'm, I forget how it works. Marth, how could you die? Oh, I'm reading that Garnif is just straight up Im immune to all damage. Right. If I remember correctly, plot-wise, he can only be hurt by the foul ship. No, he can only be hurt by Starlight. He'll leave on his own at the start of enemy phase. Oh, okay. He'll just leave eventually. Okay. I had a feeling it was something like that. Okay. With that in mind, knowing that he is just going to leave at some point, 
out. And we need to ignore him. What do we do? Who do we warp? If you were to attack with your attacks. With your attack of 13. Two. Lind could survive an attack from the Pegasus. Like if I had her warp here, attack the thief. Seven. So Eighteen damage in total. She couldn't survive any more than that though. So that's not a good idea. I need to get rid of the thief. And I can't get close to Garnet. At this point, we just need to let him leave. So, like, stand, having, like, people here is, like, my best option. But I need to get rid of this guy. So I need to warp someone. Who can deal with the mages? Again, Lin's the best shot. I might try Lind again. Who has a spare Volinary? Agma has plenty of spare Volinaries. It might... We'll see. The other option... is to warp onto. That is another option. I think if I... go here... So my option is to get rid of the thief now, or I can one-hit KO the mage, whichever one is stronger, and that, that would be this one, just one-hit KO the mage, the thief runs like here or here, and I take less damage. Next turn, the difference of it's a difference of three damage. If only Lint can use Excalibur. Merrick won't be able to really deal with the mages that well. He can deal with the flyers. Okay. So with that in mind, since... Garneth is just going to leave at some point. Again, I think I want Kane and Abel to head out to the left with Sheeta and Minerva. And Sheeta will definitely have to get some healing after that one fight. Physic? Is that the one that heals from range? Or is Physic just a better healing? I can't check. But 
but I'm gonna be honest, I think Castor is probably gonna be really useful right now. Like, standing, like, right over here. Yeah, if I get Castor, like, right here, he can kill the mage from range, and then I just need to keep him healed. Gonna be a lot of reinforcements showing up for a little while. Let's see how it goes. Again, I can also just warp on too. That also works. But he doesn't really get much benefit from the level right now, so it would have to it would have to be a very good move, a very good play. And Garnif is on the move. Hmm. You go ahead and attack Lind. If Lin can just dodge, like, a physical attack, it would help. Actually, if Lin can dodge this Pegasus Rider, the one that's going to attack her, that would help her a lot. HP. Okay. Lind, you need to dodge. I need you to. Oh, it's a, it's a eight percent chance to dodge. Yeah, I figured. It wasn't even enough to KO. Yep. And then these two on the move. So, we're gonna need a better option. Lind is not the right option to go. Even if I hear her with the bow and arrow, it's not gonna be enough. Man, Martha is just getting all these crits. Right. Like, even if I go here, let's say I attack. Attack speed of 2, attack of 21, not enough. Yeah, it's not gonna work, honestly. Better off trying to heal and hope she dodges every attack. Just hope she dodges every single one. That'd be great. That would just be fantastic. some ways this worked out a little bit better because the Dragon Knight is heading to the right instead of the left. So Sheeta is safe. Okay, that worked out. Yeah, I want Kane and Abel to head this way. Everyone else. So a different option, uh, instead of warping to the Thief, I warp Merrick, like, 
right here or so with Excalibur. And then he has to run all the way down to the thief. But that might take too long. That could take too long. The, uh, I guess if I did something like that, I could have Kane or Abel. Doesn't matter which one. Because when Garneth starts moving, I could just have one of them just go over here and block the path before the thief gets there. on the move. That's interesting. Oh, right. That one got hurt, so it's trying to heal. There it is. Okay, that didn't work. Maybe I'm worrying too much about the thief. Maybe the thief is not as bad as I think it is. Especially when Garneth is probably on the move. If Garneth is on the move... You know what, I'm gonna have... Uh, where's I? We'll do... I thought there was like a uh, package or something, but I don't think so. Yeah, I think it went past the house. Okay, my bad. Um, let's try warping Merrick instead. Warp Merrick. We're gonna have him spam Excalibur. We're gonna warp him here. I want him to deal with the flyers. Because maybe I could get to the treasure chests before the thief gets there. And even so, the thief doesn't actually have to... Uh, the thief doesn't actually have to... You know, he can open the chests. I just need to get rid of him before he leaves. 37. Yeah, you're not surviving this. Yeah, I might just be worried about the thief a little too much. Getting rid of the flyers might be more important. Yeah, I might have Abel head to the right. Oh, Mark didn't get the trip this time. Well, he did now, but not the first hit. Yeah, I think I might have Abel head to the right. That way he could rush in and kill the thief if needed. Okay. 
I could feed Lind kills over here from the mages instead of Castor. I'd be using up Aura to do it, though. Or, instead of doing that, I could have her weaken a mage with Thunder, just so she gets a little EXP. And then I feed the kill to, like, Marge or something. I can, that's a idea. Because uh, part of me is worried about spamming Aura a little too much. Because I don't want to have it break on me and then need it later. Garneth is on the move. And he's heading towards me. one-hit KOs. You finally get to use Excalibur for what it's meant to do. And he got the crit. 36%. I mean, it's likely. This one's gonna hurt. Eight. 13 damage. Ouch. But it had to be done. I'll probably have him Volinary. Level 8. Skill, Luck, HP. Oh, yeah, I definitely need him to heal up. Yeah, Thief is gonna have to be taken care of later. Do we just need to avoid him? for a while? If he's just going to attack me? Oh my god, like... Okay. Well, then we'll do this. Merrick, you have to heal. Is this one in range? Yes. That's about what I've been expecting for Sheeta, honestly. And then have to do this. Normally she gets the crit. Is he... I forget, does he actually like to cross this bridge? I don't even remember. I think I need to just avoid him. Oh 
Well, Minerva will survive both of these hits. Oh, she dodged. Good. Marth was in range. Dang it. I didn't realize he was. Ah, oh, what a waste. Could have gone to Lind. And Marth has... Merrick has to use up his Excalibur on just... kind of mage grunts. That he can't even double. Alright. Exactly enough health! That was like exact amount, I think. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Before. Before I could t before I reset, first of all, what do you say? Can't defeat his inner spells protect him. The only thing that can harm him is starlight. This bad. Please leave this place at once. It's literally just about waiting it out. Does he? I, I want to see if he crosses the bridge. Is he willing to cross the bridge? Is he willing to chase me down? Like, if he is, that's fine. I just want an idea of how he works. I just want to see if he continues moving past the bridge. I'm assuming he's just going to follow me. Okay. Let's just... Let's just see. Oh, I know what he does. Yep, he continues to move. Okay. I need to warp turn one. I don't need to warp turn one. What we can, because part of the problem is Garnef keeps chasing down whoever I warp. Or, you know, they get surrounded by too many flyers. 
So what if instead is I wait a few turns to warp? But then, after a few turns when Garnef is a little bit farther away, I send Lind. I work Lind to the treasure room. So, and then she could deal with any mage reinforcements, because she has the resistance to tank a lot of them. Garnef's too far away to protect it, and she could kill the thief. That's not the worst idea. We can save our warp for a little later. And we do this until he decides to run away. Then we just need to send Julian. There's currently an ad, but the first few sets are kind of what to expect, so I'm just gonna keep going. Thing. Depending on where I warp Lint, I might not even need her to attack on the same turn. I could probably move Lint, then move uh, Lena up so that way she's farther away. Because Lint can defend herself with her. This is not a bad thing. I don't trust Bantu to be able to get away in time, and also I don't think I will use him anyway. Bantu and Wendel are just going to hang out over here. Garnet shouldn't be able to catch up to them anyway. different strategy. Yeah, Garnet's on the move. He's gonna chase us down. And we are just going to avoid him for a few turns. And that'll warp Lind a little later. Everyone's heading to the same direction. Okay. Yeah, I have another turn or two before I need to work. Take it. We'll take the crit. And let's see. Oh, I 
attacked the weaker one. I should have gone after the other one. Oh, well. It's not a big deal. Master. Lynn needs to head up here. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. She doesn't need to head up here just yet. Lynn can head here. Wait. Mark, you need to... I guess we're gonna have you cross the river. You just need to escape. Minerva. Minerva's gonna need some healing soon. We're going after Lind, which I could take out in, I think, one hit. Oh, maybe not. Okay, yeah, one hit. Good. one. The other one? After Lynn. Lena. Okay. That's not good. Luckily she dodged. Lucky me. it to a treasure chest right now. Oliver, what turn are we on? We are on turn three. I still think we need to wait a little bit more. I think what I should do is wait one more turn and work on the next turn. We'll let the thief go ahead and open this one chest. He can open the one. Then afterwards, I should be able to work safely. Because I don't know if Garneth will turn around. He probably will because it will be closer. Attack speed. I think he could do it. But he could also just give the KO to someone else. And Caster just goes ahead and fights no one else. Okay. Never mind. It's going to take a little an extra turn for the mages to get there. Okay. I think he could do it with the iron. He should be able to double. And, or, you know, he just gets a crit. That works, too. That works, too. Alright. So, I think we can have Sheeta go ahead and attack this one. That's, that's a lot. Okay. Now, 
next. Minerva. I want her on the fort, and she's going to attack the healer. That's fine. Get her some EXP, get her some healing. Right. Able. With an attack of 23... The attack of 23 minus 14. Mm. Yeah, 9 damage. I, I figured. That's not enough. That's not enough to KO. But it's going to take us a little bit for Garnet to get there. So, what I could do is we can Excalibur. some of my units protect. We are protecting Caster. We will go here. Someone needed healing. to run away and get away from Garnet. He can steal late. He can open treasure chests later. She did get hit. Forgot about that. And we got the crit. That helps. That definitely helps. You let him steal that first one. She has Volunaries. She'll survive a couple hits. 
but I want to get rid of the thief. Now's the time to walk. Strength and weapon level, okay. Let's go ahead and... Actually... She could just attack from here. Only because, like, it's an extra square forward, so if Garnef starts heading her way, she can escape. Level 4. Strength, skill, speed, luck. Sweet. A recover staff and a secret book. Alright. What's next? Oh, you're just trying to heal. I'll let Minerva have it. Okay. Okay, what's next? Alright. I mean, you're not going to move. Why am I not going to check you? Okay. It's just the mages from down there. I know there's more reinforcements than that. I know there's more. Yeah, if I had silver, when it KO. Okay, we got the Thundertone, I can go in storage. Uh, I'll have Caster go with them. Cain and Abel have to kind of just go this way so they can escape. You can't really get through the desert that easily. Julian, head this way, I guess. Martha, I'm afraid I don't have time to continue playing games with you. If you want to recover the Falchion, they come to Thebes. There we go. Now he leaves. Okay. Now he leaves. I don't think it's turn six. I don't think it is. Three damage. Now that he's left. So I am reading. Uh, uh, I am reading that uh, he leaves at the beginning of turn six. However, what turn is it? Turn five. Okay. When it says turn six, it's referring to. DS Shadow Dragon. So I guess it's the beginning of turn five here. Okay. Interesting. Uh, 
Okay. I know at some point soon we're going to be dealing with re reinforcements from these forts. I already know that's going to happen. So either the reinforcements need to be completely plugged, or we need to be prepared. something. Okay, so Julian can go right here. Let me see. Someone needs to plug that just in case there's reinforcements. I don't know if there is from that fort. Okay, do that. Uh, I'll go ahead and let Marth Stand here. Does someone need healing? Agma, not much. Uh, Merrick, Lind. Lind needs healing, but I'm too far away. Okay, so not really. I think it would be best for me to stand right here. Actually, I could get the 1k ho at the very least. If there is one new mage that pops up, she can survive. I would have healed if this wasn't a 1k ho. Okay, okay, Skill, luck, weapon level, and HP. Alright. Barst. Castor, Agma, and Navarre are heading to the top right. It's gonna be slow, but they're going that way. Kinda need to just get up here-ish. Then one person needs to plug that. And Lena... Uh, stay close, I guess. You're fully healed. Yeah, that one's attacking Merrick. If I could just get Mark to get the KO, we'll be fine. Or, you know, Merrick just has him covered. Use up four magic spells, but hey, no one else got hurt. Nice to dodge. Okay. Alright. They're good. Can Merrick make it? No. no. 
I'm gonna do this. Go over here. Why not? You might as well just get some EXP out of this. Okay, there we go. There we go. Again, one character you should plug it. Uh, Marth can head up here. Get ready to seize the castle at any time. Let's go ahead and heal. Perfect. I'll help. Alright. Cheetah. We attack for 15 damage. 11 damage. We can double. And deal 22. She takes 21 minus 6. She can survive. And then Minerva could go in. Attack for 19. 15. Okay. We got this. Sheeta, go ahead and weaken. She'll survive. Yep, knew that was gonna happen. Level seven, skill, speed, luck, and weapon level. And then Minerva goes in and gets the kill. Perfect. Level three, luck. I think I'll also have Minerva head this way. Sheeta, I think she's fine. At least for now. Who's left? Kane stays there for now. Abel. These mages will keep spawning. I'm reading they'll keep spawning until after turn 10, but that could just be remake version. Uh, we're on turn 7. So Lindell, go ahead, plug this just in case. Julian. Is just kind of here. Next. Uh, Marth, you head up. I guess it doesn't really matter where. Just head over here. Uh, I think Barth's going there would be better. Someone can check this out. Um, she didn't use healing. I could get her right here. Now we can heal. Oh, that movement's just fantastic. Look at that. Full heal. Perfect. Who's left? Lind? She's fine on health. She's okay, and it's just Cain and Abel. Right. 
if Julian gets close enough, then I'll have Lind get in a spot to where the mages can't really go anywhere. So that way Julian can get to the chest without getting attacked. Level 6, speed, luck, and weapon level. Oh, wait. Who had the silver card? You have the silver card. Oh, well. That's a shame. is ready to seize the castle. Very good. Someone made it here. That's all that I cared about. What have we got in the shops? Okay. Let's see. Steel and silver swords. Steel and silver lances. Steel and silver bows. I'm not seeing anything here that I really need. Not at the moment. Let's check here. Culinaries, pure waters. Door keys, chest keys, bridge keys. When you have Julian, I think that's... You don't need any of these. When you have a thief, I don't think you need any of them. Granted, if you're if you play this like how you're supposed to play Fire Emblem and never reset, then yeah, that shop will probably be needed. Fire, Thunder, Blizzard, L Fire, Heal and Mend. I don't think I need any of this. Unless I want to get rid of fire for L Fire, but honestly, I don't I think I'm good. I, I don't think I need anything. Julian's almost ready. Lind almost needs to heal, but she's fine for now. We got everything fucked up. Just the mages. Yeah, honestly, the biggest cause of the deaths was not remembering how Garnef specifically worked and trying to rush in to... Get rid of the thief when that wasn't needed. This isn't that hard of a chapter in all reality. It's just Garnef is scary. If I move, uh, as long as you move here, we can use another Volinary. should be all I need. Yeah, I don't think I need to use the shop. Alright, Lind, you get one more KO. I probably didn't even need to use the Volinary. Yeah, it kind of sucks she hasn't even gotten another point of resistance. Seven speed weapon level. Yeah, 
Kind of disappointing that we got no resistance out of this. She could have used it. I mean, if you're a mage, you might as well be tanky to other magic. Oh my god, you have nine more uses left of Aura. But hey, look, she's gotten enough speed now, so now she can double with Aura if she wanted to, possibly. Or at the very least, she has a chance of doubling. And we got a Talisman. Alright. Prince Marth, I am Arcsage Goto. I am currently using my magic to communicate with you. It is a sa it is saddening to see you being mocked by Garneth. Listen to me well. Garneth and Mi uh, Miloa were both my pupils, but Garneth stole Imhulu Im from me and disappeared. Hmm. He indeed has the Falchion as well. With Imhulu Im and the Falchion, the Delolian Empire has nothing to fear. This world will eventually be theirs. So long as Garneth has Imhulu, Im you won't be able to defeat him. However, there is one method. Find the Star Sphere and the Light Sphere and bring them to me. With them both, then the only magic tone can, that can penetrate in Hulu, Starlight, can be. Can be what? Can be what? Really? After being tragically defeated by Garneth's dark magic in Hulu, in Hulu Prince Marth finally marches his army south in order to fulfill his hope of reclaiming his homeland of Altia. The kingdom of Altia is a beautiful country, surrounded by rich water and greenery. But after being occupied by Daluna, the country has, has fallen into ruin, and its citizens live in eternal suffering. Right now, they can finally welcome the days of freedom. Right. And we have an arena here. It, I remember looking at an achievement, and I think we should actually use this. I don't know who should, but someone needs to. Um, what do we got? Falstad. Trigger Shield, Killer Lance. Ender's Bane, we just have healing. Some of these enemies are getting tough. And there's Zane. I know he's recruitable. He is weird. He is very weird. He could transform into one of your other units and just be a copy. However, I feel like he has different properties depending on which game you're playing. And I forget the specifics of how Zane works. And it might be a game to game thing. So why is this guy here? That thief is just meant to get to the villages. Okay. So, I need Julian here to open doors to get to Zane. That's the only reason he's here. Other than that, this is kind of my main team. Wendu and Bantu are just kind of benched. No recruits from last time. We're kind of good. Let me double check items, I guess. Fine, Abel is fine. Ogma's fine. Ours is good. Master is good. Far. Lena? Well, it is what it is. Julian. We could deposit the house, but we don't need that. 
Minerva's good. Lind is good. Closet, the secret book, and the recovery. Merrick's fine. Sheeta is fine. Cheetah could use another Steel Lance soon, so maybe we'll get her one. I can also just take from draw. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe someone else has a Steel Sword. Or a Steel Lance. Silver. We might give uh, Sheeta. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Maybe she could use a silver by now. Let's see. Uh, let's just do this for now. She can use a silver. I think she's done with the slim. The slim is too weak. Slim is way too weak. Weight of two, weight of six. I think we're done. I think we're done with that. Seven, six, eight. Yep. I think we're done with the slim. It's it's just way too weak for her. It hasn't been useful. Alright. No warp staff. We don't have that. Marth, so this is your homeland, Altia. Yes, it has already been two years since it was occupied by the Dolunian Empire. That day, I managed to escape to Talus thanks to my sister, Elise's help. But she was captured by the Delunian Empire in my place. Right now, where on earth could she be? We must rescue her from her hands. From her hands? Rescue her from her- from- oh, from their hands. I read that wrong. How did I read that wrong? Okay, everyone, move out for the freedom and peace of our home homeland, Altia. Okay. So... Yeah, that, that's the center of the island. Only the flyers can get there. That's not a good idea. Everyone else... Everyone should basically be heading to the left. However, Marth, Julian, and someone that can fight this guy, probably Navarre, should uh, go with that. I think Martin's talk to Zane. So we go here. Wait. Yeah, we'll, we'll hand it to. We'll, we'll let Navarre handle it. Marth? No, oh, wait. Move Agma first. We'll see how well this chapter goes. Julian moves here. Julian opens the door. Julian fights the sky. Or, uh, uh, Navarre fights the sky. Hopefully gets a crit, maybe. Marth moves in for the... For this? For talking to Zane? Maybe? Alright. It will be a good idea to get people to plug this. I have the units that are really good at just getting to places very quickly. Here's Abel. Everyone else is just gonna follow. We'll probably use the arena. I'm not sure who, but I do need to use it. Part of it's an achievement that I saw, so I might as well actually get it done. I just realized Julian's probably in danger. He's in range. I didn't catch that. Oh! 
Well then. It would be great. And then I gotta make sure to take down that thief before he takes down the village. But first, Julian gets attacked. He dodges. Very smooth. He gets attacked again. By a javelin. Dodges again. Very smooth. Gets attacked a third time, but up close. I really didn't think this through. And he got hit. Well, at least he didn't get doubled. Well, this is uh, not good for Julian, that's for sure. The bars. Uh, Someone's. So steel, 18 damage. I see the mistakes were made. Killing edge, I guess. Try to get rid of someone. I see the mistake. Merrick needed to head down there too. And Marth with the Worm Slayer. Gets the crit. Well, we have Julian back out. Not that it matters. This was just a bad turn one now that I'm not actually paying attention. Someone just needs to get there. As long as the thief is destroyed, it is taken out, we're good on that end. The villages will be safe. Might be better to have everyone just kind of hang out on these forts after the thief is done. So, nothing else I can do about that. Slow. Thief? Yep, next turn, that village is destroyed. You're going after Julian. Why am I not surprised? And he dodged. Okay. You're going after Julian. That's a reset. I already know. Uh, all right. Now that I have a better idea of what I messed up on. All right. Let's try this again. I should have Merrick or... Oh, sorry. Merrick or Caster get in range of the Javelin ones. And Marth with the Worm Slayer. 
will be useful. So that's still a good idea. Okay. Lind heads this way. Bars also has the, heads this way. Agma heads this way. Alright. Javelin, you're also the So, if I can get Merrick right there, or Caster. Okay, Merrick. Okay, you're not fighting that one. You're fighting the other one. No! Agma is, because I... Mm, I didn't see he could get there. Great. Just fantastic. Totally going apart of plan. Alright. Well, luckily... For me, that I can get in range. First, Marth. Get rid of the one that could physically attack. Wait, this is the javelin one? Oh, okay. Well, it worked out, I guess. Probably for the better. Marth, why didn't you crit in the first hit? Oh, well. Castor. Mistakes were made. Attack speed of 5. Attack speed of 2. I double here. 31 damage. Yeah, let's... Someone was gonna kill Speed, weapon level, and HP. Scalver. I could have Merrick fight this guy because he is going to use. This is going to use magic. And then open the door later. That's not the. That's not a bad idea. So I got a 
show you their time. Lena should definitely Now Castor is not needed. He can start heading to the left. Just get them on the floor. I'm not sure how much longer, but I'm pretty sure an ad's gonna pop up soon. When that happens, I'm gonna refill my water. Get rid of that thief. Let's see if I even can. Uh, Kane? You should be able to do it. 19. Should attack speed. Ooh, wait. He might not. He doesn't have the power. Uh, unless we go with the steel for 22. He already can't attack twice anyway. Nope, that's not enough. Oh, hey, Gwena, how's it going? Been a little while. while. What's been going on? Just playing some Fire Emblem 3 right now. First playthrough. Okay, let's see. Uh, Sheeta with the steel has an attack speed of 9. That's enough to double. 15 minus 20. Yeah, we can do it. Putting some Persona 3 Reload. Oh, is that version any good? That's a... I want to pick that up at some point. Because that's like the only Persona game I really haven't played. That's good, that's good. But it, the sad thing is, isn't there, like, still a reason to pick up, like, the PSP version? Because that version doesn't have the PSP version's content. It's kind of like, I think that's, like, kind of the annoying part about that release from what I heard. But that's, like, the only thing. But yeah. No use for the PSP version. Really? Okay. All I know is the PS version has, like, extra story stuff. Oh, wait, are they adding the story stuff from the PSP version in? Because if so, then, yeah, there is no use for the... There is no reason to have the PSP version in. Because I remember that being a uh, hot-button topic right then when this came out. That's from Fez. No, uh, that is not what I'm referring to. Because I forget what the side story is called, but the PSP had its own side story. It took out the answer, but has a different one in there. Like, I don't know what it was called. Attack 7. No, he doubles. Oh, well, hmm. I need to, I need to look into it. And it looks like the Levin Sword is just going to deal 10 damage anyway. So let's just go in for the attack. Alright. 
Navarre. We go with the Steel Sword. Now eh, let's just have the chance for the crit. What's your HP at? Yeah, you'll be fine. Oh, why did mm, why did I do that? Dang it! Okay, Mark, you're gonna have to be the one to do it. Mistakes were made. 14 damage. Mark, you suck. I made a mistake. You gotta head out. All right. Have a good day, Gueno. Thanks for stopping by. Mark, I need the crits. More of them, please. Oh no. You know what? I was. Well then. I know it adds playing right now, but. You wanna see. You wanna see Mark die? Set this. I'm gonna go refill my water. Be right back.
Sorry about that. I went to go and, you know, refill my water and then my dog needed to go outside. Let's try that again. Okay. Time to try this again, except this time, you know, let's not have Navarre just wait. You know, that, that would make a difference. Let's try this again. No, we don't need the opening. Alright, the starting move was not bad. I will need to put Ogman in a different spot. But other than that... It's not bad. Okay. What was your range? Right, I needed... Equip Excalibur. We go here. Navar. Oh, no. Navar is just kind of go here. That was. It's you, I believe. I want to go up here. There we go. Right, I can hang out here. Barst. Caster. Stay close, just in case. Alright. Let's try it again. Except Merrick should be in range of... Well, at least the one. These move very, very slow. You know what? While I have time while these are moving, hold on. Let me look up. Persona 3. Answer. Let me look. So, yeah, that was in Fez. Gone, but still, I'm just curious. Luck. Got a little bit of luck out of that. Oh, wait a minute. Which one has the chapel? You do. Honestly, Merrick already took some hit. Uh, it took some damage there. I'm gonna go ahead and just let Caster handle this. Are you kidding me? A 2% crit? That is dumb. Well then. A 2% crit. That is so dumb. Time to try again. Again, skip the moot, skip the opening. We'll do the same turn one, more or less. Goes this way. Pain. Minerva. Able. We go here. 
Mint. And the bar to hang out here. Barst. Stay close. And Lena. Alright, while that plays out, I'm going to take a look at this sword. Persona 3 Fez Festival. The answer would be adapted and so we rewrote as far as expansion pass. We titled Episode Ages the Answer, okay. Okay. Now I wanna check PSP. Speed, weapon, defense, and HP. Okay. Okay, so this time we are not going to let Caster attack. And Merrick, can you deal with a 35 or a 37? Yes, let's do that. We'll heal you in a minute. That was so dumb. Don't even get the crit. Alright, we don't need Castor down here. If Merrick has both cases. Never mind. We need a Castor. I'm dumb. Oh my god. So many mistakes. Okay. Navar, you go here. Might as well equip the killing edge. Marth, go here. Equip the worm slayer. What is your range? That's a big range. That's a very big range right there. It's kind of too bad Kane wasn't really able to get rid of the thief. He doesn't have the speed for it. We gave Lind a bunch of levels. That really helps her. Alright, we'll see how this goes. Could attack Castor since he can't defend himself. Oops. That seems to be replaced by me. The answer is not available in PSP. I remember that. Is that the only extra story? Wait. Wait. Oh. Yeah, so that was not in PSP. I thought... PSP had, like, something extra instead. Oh, wow, Caster, you dodged. That's great. Oh, there's just a new version of Persona 3 that has the female pro tag. 
but by doing that, there's like separate stuff to it. Again, that might have been the distinction. I forget. <laughs> I have not played Persona 3, so I don't really know anyway. Go ahead and get to level 14. Strength, speed, weapon level, resistance, and HP. Wow. Okay, Julian, you head down. Alright. Too bad Merrick can't really do well against... against this guy. Because we're talking 7 damage, and he already has some res resistance. He deals 10, and I only have 3 resistance. Like, Mary, like, you're a mage. You should have more than that. Uh... We'll try this again. Except we'll use Navarre this time. Instead of, you know, being dumb. I had to have Sheeta give me KO. are not going to do it. I don't know how close Lynn should get, because she will need to be protected. I mean, I could have you work on it. Wait, what is your attack speed again? Nine? Yeah, it's enough to just get a single hit in. You might as well just deal some extra damage. It's not gonna, it's not gonna harm anything. It just kind of sucks that Merrick uh, doesn't have the resist. Well, he got the crit. That helps. He'll survive another hit, or Merrick will, and then he get back out here. At the very least, letting Merrick weaken is a good idea. Like this. Yeah, we can have Kane and Abel block the uh, bridges, or even Ogma and Varst. It's not a worse idea. It's not, it's not a bad idea. And then we still have the forts for protection. Castor, you'll get here eventually. You should probably join the group in the first place. I didn't realize I didn't fully need him.
side. Okay. And, oh, not enough for a level. Come on. Yep, gotta keep seeing through this. I didn't even see that. What a waste of time. Oh, what sucks is I could have I can have a flyer go in and stop that. How many more? Oh my god. Okay. Minerva, you are going to deal with that right now. Where's your range? Okay. Someone can stand here. I'll go ahead and let Kane stand here. And I feel like someone needs to plug a fort. Okay. Abel, go right here. Okay, Navarre. Killing Edge. We got a crit. Okay. So I already know next turn. Uh, I already know that next turn he's gonna back away. I don't know if Zane is gonna attack though. Gonna be the weird question. Get some more XP out of this. Kane's doing fine. Good, good. We could double the calves. Are the other two gonna get close? I should have. I should have him move up even farther. Wait, he didn't. Oh my god. Why? Okay. That's weird. Um, you know what? I'm gonna have... This is gonna be weird. I'm gonna let Merrick grab the KO, because I know he can get it. See? And he gets the level. Level 9, speed, and HP. We got 11 sword. And storage. Navarre could use some healing. But we can talk to Zane. Oh! Altia's Prince! Thanks to you, I was able to escape. I am Zane. I, I came here from a faraway country. Which country? 
I have the ability to transform into any person. After discovering my ability, the Delunian Empire tried to force me to join them, but I didn't want to do their evil deeds. Since you helped me, I'll help. I'll, I will come and help you. Please watch over me. And we got Zane. So we could have him attack, but he is very weak. You are supposed to have him transform into someone else. Navar, what are we doing if we do this? He has an attack of 22, defense of 9. He could survive a single, single hit. Um, attack speed of 11, attack speed of 15. I, wait, I can double. I double. 18 minus 11, that is 7. Uh, I would need a crit. I would need a crit. So, I think it's better for me. Zane, what is your... You have 6 attack speed and 4 defense. No, Zane, you need to get out of here. You need to get out of here. Alright, so this guy's ready to attack. If I move one square away, then he will not be able to attack me. I might not move. Nope, he moved. Because the other one didn't. I looked out. And did I just waste my... Yeah, I wasted a Worm Slayer. I left out with the crit. There we go. He got close. attack Kane. Good. Next. The other one should probably attack Kane. Kane needs to back up and stand on the floor. Level 13, Strength, Speed, Weapon Level, and HP. Navar. You need to try. That's playing. And we got a crit. HP, Hero's Crest, another one, which that could go to Agma. Alright. Marth is kinda done. He needs to get to the villages, which I think turning around might be the better option. I'm gonna have Lena go ahead and heal Marth.
Now, is this chapter the two villages? Yep, this is what I'm thinking of. seconds left, but if I'm just moving units around, it's not going to For sure, Kane needs to stay here. Alright, ads are done. For sure, Kane needs to stand here and heal up. If I do this, what are we looking at? 23, 6 attack speed. Six attack speed. I double. We're looking at 12 damage. That's not enough to KO. However, if I weaken with the wind, let's just say I use. Let's use thunder. Eight attack. Oh, it's only two damage. I would have to use aura. To use aura just to get some. Uh, get some good damage in there. I want to try to save that as much as possible. Alright. Now I should be good. Kinda wish it was enough for a one hit KO, but. Nope, not close. Now you get the crit. Hold on, hold on a minute. Sorry about that. Uh, um, I don't. I don't know if. Uh, I think I need to go. I think I need to go. This is actually important. I'm sorry. Well. No, this is actually important. Uh, uh, let me see. Uh, can I put a safe state? Safe state? Um, let's see. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
Uh, start. No safe state. I, 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 okay, I can't find a safe state. That's fine. Honestly, I'm okay with resetting this. I won't count this, but I think I have to end it. This is actually important. Uh, something, uh, something IRL is going down. I have to end it now. Uh, thank uh, thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that aren't on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at Scott for Stream Archives. There's a link in the about page. I am not counting this as a reset, even though we will have to reset something important has come up. I'm sorry. Gotta go. 